What's good, YouTube? My name is Travis J, and welcome to my channel, Thrift Tips and Flips. So today, I just want to make a real quick hard good and hat haul video just to show you guys the few hard goods and hats that I actually found this past week or two. Now, usually I focus on selling men's clothing, but I figure there's a lot of money to be made in other categories, especially in hard goods. So I figured why not diversify my inventory and try my hand at making money in other categories besides men's clothing. So without any further ado, let's get right into this hard good and hat haul video. All right, y'all, so first up, we got these Nintendo Wii AV cables. And honestly, when I first picked these up or when I saw them at the Goodwill, I only saw that little Nintendo logo right there, not even thinking that uh, Nintendo made more game systems than just the NES. So I grabbed these and I actually threw them in the cart and forgot about them until I was already checking out. And I figured, what the hell, I'll just check on them when I got home. So when I got home, I looked them up and I realized they were Nintendo Wii AV cables, which were not nearly as valuable as NES cables, but they were still going for, I think, five or six dollars a piece. I only paid three dollars for both of these cables. So I'll just throw them up on eBay anyway, and hopefully I'll be able to make 10 to 12 dollars off of both of these AV cables. All right, y'all, so next up we got this. Starbucks you are here Philadelphia mug and if you're familiar with the channel I'm pretty sure you know why I picked this one up I got like a 30 Starbucks mug collection so far so I seen this one and I automatically grabbed it I think I paid like six dollars for it but eventually when I do sell the collection it's gonna be worth a lot more money than these cups are individually so when I see Starbucks mugs I generally tend to just go ahead and grab them if they're in good condition this one was actually in perfect condition so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and add this one to the collection all right y'all so next up we got this big Big time muscle 1977 Pontiac Firebird model car and as you can see this box is all beat to shit but I did open it up carefully took the car out and the car is in perfect condition not damaged at all and I know these are worth big money if they are in perfect condition so I took a chance on this seeing that the box is damaged hoping somebody would buy it I only spent six dollars for this one at a goodwill when I looked this one up I saw some of the other ones I were selling and they did go for pretty decent money so I'm gonna continue to look out for these model cars and you should too if you want to make some potential good money all right y'all so getting into the headwear now first up we got this bright ass orange pack sun beanie and in my last video i actually mentioned that i sold a pair of pack sun windbreakers just to test the water see how well they would do and they actually sold within the first like three days of me listing them so when I saw this beanie, it was pretty much the same concept. I just wanted to take the chance to see how this beanie would do. I only paid $3 for it at Goodwill. So if I could get this one off for, I don't know, $10, maybe $15, then I'd be happy with that. All right, y'all, so getting into the hats now. First up, we got this Tommy Bahama Patriotic Mesh Trucker Hat. And I actually bought this hat like a month and a half ago and I just sat it to the side and actually totally forgot about it but when I looked this hat up today to make this video that actually had a 400% sell through rate meaning there was only one of these hats listed and four of these hats that sold in the last 90 days so I'm definitely about to get this hat wiped down and listed as soon as possible just so I can make that money on it like I said I bought this hat like a month a month and a half ago for like two dollars out of Salvation Army and it's only gonna be like a 15, maybe $20 flip, but instead of having to just sitting around and not make no money, I'd rather get it listed, get it sold, and have that money in my bank account as soon as possible. All right, y'all, so the next hat up on this list is this Vanced Out in California Snapback. And I got this one for $3 at a Goodwill. And as soon as I saw this hat, I knew I was going to pick it up. I knew this might be a good seller. So when I looked it up, I couldn't find sell come for this exact color. But I'm hoping since it's the exact same style as the ones that did sell within the last 90 days, that this hat will go for the same price as those for about 15 to 20 bucks potentially. All right, y'all. So the next hat up on this list is this young and reckless patchwork snapback and this one actually had no tag on it so the cashier actually gave it to me for four dollars at a goodwill the same day i got that van snapback 
but I actually couldn't find any sold comps for this hat at all on eBay. So when that happens, I just use the Google Lens function on my phone to see if anybody on the internet has sold anything like the item I'm trying to find. And fortunately, someone sold this exact hat on Poshmark for like $30. So I'm definitely gonna get this hat listed on eBay and hopefully I'm the only one with it so it'll be in high demand. But I'm hoping to get as low as $15 and as high as $30 for this hat. So I'm just gonna list it at 30 open the offers and see what happens from there. All right, y'all, so the last hat on this list is this LRG five panel adjustable cap. And I got this one for $5 at a Goodwill. And though I couldn't find this exact hat, I noticed that some of them were going for as high as $40. So seeing that this was only $5, I definitely went ahead and snagged this. Um, I'm willing to go as low as like $20 if somebody's really pushing the issue, but I'm definitely gonna try to get this out for $40 and make that move on. All right, y'all, so last but certainly not least on this haul video list are these A6 Gel Venture 7, size 12. And I only paid $8 for these at a Salvation Army. And I picked these up because they're in excellent condition, barely anywhere on the bottom. There's no holes, no rips in them. The shoestrings are both in excellent condition. On top of that being a size 12, I truly believe that bigger sizes sell better. And as you guys can see with the sole comps, a pair of these actually sold for $30 to $40. So I'm hoping to get exactly that for these shoes. I'm not planning to go any lower than $30 on these since they are in basically new condition. So I'm gonna get these listed as soon as possible and hope for the best. All right, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this real quick haul video. And more so, I hope you guys that are new to resell and learn something valuable that you can use to go out there and make some money. If you'd like to join the journey, you can always hit that subscribe button below. If you like what I got going on here, you can always hit that thumbs up button to let me know. And if you see something that I need to improve on, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to work on it for the next video. So. Until next time, guys, peace.